Hey, welcome friends. I'm just trying to see if everything is all set up. Um, just need to see if I can find myself. Oh, there I am. All right, let's start this again. Welcome friends. I'm so happy that you are able to join me. My name is Rita Winter and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Steinbeck, Manitoba, Canada. I am um, passionate about making cards and I love to share it with family and friends and you are all my friends so I'm happy to share uh, my hobby with you. And I love to encourage people, and so I would like to encourage you in your craft, in your crafting, and in your card making. So today we are gonna play with Daisy Lane a stamp set by Stamping Up, and we're just gonna make a basic card. Mm -hmm. My plan was for something a little bit different with the Daisy Lane, but it didn't quite turn out, so I will research that a little bit more. Just a reminder that all the dimensions, the card recipe will be all below um, on my website, or not website, on my Facebook page, and my contact information will be there. So uh, I'd love for you to check that out. And if you enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't follow me yet, press follow. And I would love it if you would share my videos. Anytime you share any of my videos, I, I appreciate that so much. And I would like to gift you a copy of that, um, of that card for that day. And you can go through all my videos and rec and share them all and I'll send you a copy or within two weeks, I'll send you a copy of that card that we created. So, and that offer expires uh, September 1st. So it's a limited time offer. Also check out um, on my Facebook page, on Stonybrook Stamper's Facebook page about a class that I'm offering. It's sweet ice cream three cards for $15 and they're beautiful cards. So check that out. So let's uh, stop talking and I'm gonna move the screen down, adjust that and we will create the card. So hold on for a sec. Um, I apologize for the roller coaster ride. Uh, let's adjust you switch you to my desk balance you out a bit it just doesn't want to stay today come on some days this is not the best setup. Okay, we'll just move the mat. And just as long as it's straight and that will work and I'll just have to remember to put my hands further down. All right, now we're gonna start crafting. Uh, what we are gonna use is the Daisy Lane uh, stamp set. We are gonna use this stamp and the stem and the sentiment we're gonna use the best moments in my life happen with you. So that's gonna be uh, our, uh, our stamp set that we're gonna use. We're also gonna use the scalloped uh, contours dies. We're gonna use the third largest um, die it's I believe two and a half by three and a half. So we will use that. I'm just gonna put that aside a little bit. We are also using an embossing folder and we're using the Ornate Floral 3D embossing folder. It's a beautiful design. 
Let me show it to you. Um, it's there it is. I don't know if you can see it on camera very well, but it's a tiny little flowers with little leaves. This is one of my favorite embossing folders. So we will use that. It doesn't it doesn't come in a case. I just have, uh, sometimes I like to store some of my uh, embossing folders in a case if I don't have a sleeve for them. So we'll put that out of the way. Uh, the stamps, where are the, my stamps? Oh yeah, they're hiding, so we'll move that out of the way for now. We're also gonna use um, the our in color ribbon it's a soft succulent ribbon and uh, we are using the soft succulent cardstock it's let me just uh, it's it's 11 11 inches by four and a quarter scored at five and a half and it's a top fold portrait style so we um, burnished it there so it's lying flat we also have uh, um, a piece of cardstock um, three and three quarters by five to go on the inside and we have, um, let's see if I can remember, um, four by five and a quarter. I think that's, no, yeah, four by five and a quarter of white card stock. That's gonna go there. And this is just two, um, two little uh, pokes smaller and it's just going to be a tiny little border of white on it now we're also using this is what's been um, embossed with that embossing folder i don't know if you can see the embossing it's so beautiful it's embossed on our uh, shimmery vellum it's beautiful vellum colored it's uh this one is I always forget the polished pink shimmery paper. It's uh, we have it in all of our in colors. So we have the pink, the um, fresh freesia. We have the pale papaya, the soft succulent, and uh, evening evergreen colors in this. It's a uh, it's 10 pieces of paper, uh, so five different colors and two of each. So I decided to uh, emboss that just to give it some a bit of a softness. So that's going to go on there. Then I cut out the scallops, a scallop piece of paper that I was showing you and that's going to go there and that's where we're going to do a bit of stamping and this is what I had a bit of a problem with so let's see how that works out now so I'm just going to grab um, a piece of paper to put underneath it because some of it will be stamped off So I like to use grid paper. It's actually from our paper that goes with our Stamparatus. And because I don't use the Stamparatus very often, I, um, I like to use it for this. So to line this up properly. And uh, I'm just gonna grab everything that I need for it. I have my stem, I have my sentiment, I have my daisy, I have my wonderful chamois. It doesn't look very nice anymore. Um, 
but it works perfect. All you do is uh, you wash it with soapy water. It's still, the, it will look like this, but uh, it works amazingly. So I'm gonna move that aside. And I am using a polished pink, like all everything but our um, everything but our uh, evening evergreen colors for the 20 um, 2021 to 2023 in color basically when we introduce our every year we introduce a new in color and they're um, they last for two years so we right now currently have the 2020 2022 in colors and we have the 2021 2023 in colors so these are the 21 to 23 in colors and um, they will stick around for two years it's the ones that we had already for the previous year and current year like the magenta madness uh, misty moonlight uh, bumblebee those um, have, this is their last year for that um, before they get put away. So here we go. All right, this makes me a little bit nervous a little bit just because I played around and played around with this and I had such a hard time deciding on a design. So I'm gonna stamp off because I don't want it to be too dark and I'm gonna put it on here a little bit more to the side. All right, I'm gonna clean that up. And I won't need it anymore, so I'm gonna this one, put it away, put my block away. Now I'm gonna do my sentiment. And be, I was trying to decide, do I want a pink or a green? But I think I'm gonna go with a pink, with polished pink sentiment. Uh, just maybe I'll, yeah, that's good. Now I'm gonna line this up so that what I do is uh, there is uh, there is the dots right there, the stitches. So I'm gonna I'm lining that up with the dark line, and above that, excuse my head, excuse my gray hair. I am lining up the word you so that uh, my sentiment is somewhat straight. Let's see if that worked. Yep, I'm good with that. Well, put that away. My block gets put away. So now I need my uh, daisies. I love these daisies. I love the circle on them and just kind of, and which way you bend it, that's the way the flower is bent. So let's, um, let's start with the polished pink. All right, we will do this one. Overlapping the stem a bit. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? And now uh, we're going to do the purple one on the other side of it. Um, and we'll do this one lower, higher. What should we do? I'm 
there and let's do the papaya one there we go see how that looks um, I guess I would have liked the sentiment a little bit higher but uh, that will be fine so now I also want to stamp on the inside I want to stamp um, I want to stamp a uh, daisy on the inside um, and we will go with uh, oh I'll go with the pink one I will just do it in the corner here somewhere so pretty yeah that will be good should I do a bit of a stem on it or a leaf oh maybe we'll do that we'll do a stem and a leaf for a little bit on it so I need to grab this again and grab my block I love our blocks look how thick they are it's uh, I don't get my fingers into it as often as I used to um, we will stamp this off a bit and then we will uh, do this just to give a hint of the leaf. Okay, I just need to clean off a little bit of the green from my stamp that didn't wipe off. There we go. All right, that goes on the inside. So now I can uh, close all my inks before I get my uh, hands or paper or anything into it. Uh, originally, I had planned to make um, the daisies and fussy cut them out of vellum but uh, I spent an hour trying to figure out how to do that then I decided to um, heat emboss the daisies and that wasn't working out too well because there is just so much detail on the daisies that uh, it just kind of looked like a white blob so gave up on that um, so then this is what remained so let me just grab my adhesive mat and we'll go from there okay first I want to attach a little tiny strip of uh, of my vellum and I'm not sure if I want to do it right like that or put it elsewhere or maybe for now just uh, do it on this side maybe that's what I will do and I will grab my uh, glue stick or my um, multi-glue 
just clean it up a bit. Take the scum off, the dried up stuff. Not the scum, but just the dried up stuff. Okay. The best part about uh, using uh, uh, liquid glue on uh, on vellum, on embossed vellum, the glue doesn't show up as as it does on. Uh, on regular white vellum, but uh, on this embossed colored vellum, um, it uh, you can get away with having some glue on it and not it not showing through. So that's the awesome part of it. Okay, I'm just gonna cut off this tiny little bit with my scissors just turning it upside down there so now my inside is decorated it looks pretty I'm not putting uh, any kind of sentiment today on the inside um, so we can go ahead and attach it here. I'm just gonna swirl some uh, adhesive. Line this up all evenly. Take a good look that it's not crooked. Adjust it. There. I like the way that looks. I hope you could see on the screen what I did. Um, the best part about these uh, stamping up some um, adhesive mats is uh, you can just wipe the glue off and uh, it works awesome. All right, so now we are gonna layer these two together. So this is the embossed vellum side. On the opposite side, it's also pretty, but um, it doesn't have the shine and it has a lot of weight. So I'm looking forward to, somebody pointed that out to me um, on one of the videos that I was watching and how awesome it looks in uh, snowy scenes, because it, and especially Christmas trees or something, it looks like snow on top of them. So I'm looking forward to trying that. So right now we're gonna attach um, this onto the white, just a little bit here, here, here. So we have some, and now because it's such a tiny, tiny border, I need to be careful how I line it up and that every side shows a little bit of white. So there might need to be a little bit of wiggling room. There, perfect. And if you look, uh, the glue does not show through. That's awesome. So we're gonna attach this. Now, do I want to, when I do the ribbon, do I wanna go all the way there or do I just wanna do that with the ribbon? I think I just wanna see what I want to do with the ribbon or do I want the ribbon to go here I hadn't really thought that through very well I could do the ribbon here and tie the bow there and uh, elevate um, 
the actual daisies. I don't think I have any dimensionals left, but I think I have some kind of adhesive. Yeah, I do say. I have some kind of adhesive. My order is coming in on Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to that. And then I have uh, three packets of uh, dimensionals coming. strip. Of course I didn't have to use this much. I think I might have Then an overkill with how much I put on. But that's okay. All right now we will uh, do this. We will do a bit of uh, adhesive. And hold it down. Come on, stay. Or do you need a glue dot? I guess I didn't put enough. I actually should double check to see if that's where I want my glue to. No, I want it higher. So maybe that's a good thing it didn't, uh, it didn't take. How's that? Would that be high enough? Or do I want it even higher? Right, I'm gonna cut this. are all sticky. There we go. Now the other side. I make sure it's straight. Give myself enough wiggle room in case I need to. Yes, I do. I do need to raise it up a little bit and tighten it up a bit. How's that? good. Just tighten it up a bit. Alright. Now we will attach this. that. 
that. Make sure it's kind of even on all sides. I think we need to go a little bit this way. Oops. Stay, don't move. Okay, let's press it down. I love the way that all the colors are kind of coordinated. They, I, I have a hard time trying to decide what kind of colors need to go with what. Um, and I love the way this is uh, done for us already. I'm just gonna, I don't think I need my glue anymore. So I'm just gonna put that away. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear the lawnmower. Our neighbor is cutting his lawn, but he, all, he does our front ditch and that's where he's at right now. And my husband does the back ditch because the back di ditch um, we can do with a riding mower. Uh, it's easier and uh, the front ditch gets it's easier with a push mower so because we have the riding mower he, and our push mower is broken so um, the guys share their responsibilities it's been like that for years already and it's nice it's, sometimes it's it's nice to share things oh, come on doesn't want to come off the, the adhesive on this one. There we go. I think I got it. Pulled it up. All right. Now, where do I want to stick it? Because there's going to be a bow there. So do I want to go in this corner more? instead of right in the middle. Do I want to do that? Let's, without pushing it down, let's take a look. Um, no, I'm not too crazy about that. See if I can still lift it up. Yep. Yeah. I think we will put it more in the middle. Just a little bit to the side. So there's room for the bow. There we go. Now the moment of truth, the bow making part. As you know, not my favorite part. I am getting better with it. Practice makes perfect, I guess. After almost, um, let's see, March, April, May, June, July. Five months of uh, being a Stamping Up demonstrator. I'm finally uh, getting a little bit better with bow making. Sometimes it's still not the easiest thing to do for me, but I don't mind doing it. Not as much as I uh, minded in beginning, because that was often very embarrassing, very hard, and uh, some of you have been around since then. You know that how uh, how frustrating it was for me. So I appreciate you guys being there. Hi, Lorna. Nice to have you join me. Thank you that you're saying it's pretty. All right. Is that too big of a bow? Should I need to make it a bit smaller? A little bit.
loops and cut the side to I think that's a little bit too much on an angle we'll recut this part and it's stuck to my fingers all right we will use a glue dot to attach that my glue dots especially since this one doesn't want to stick. I have a new package of glue dots, but I want to use this one up first before I start using the stamping up uh, glue dots. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, and I'm not gonna throw this piece out yet because I can probably use it in one of those just knot kind of ties. I know you're wondering, knot kind of ties? Like knot as in uh, K-N-O-T. Not, not as in no. <laughs> um, all right. So now, of course, knowing me, we're missing one thing that we need, and that is some uh, I don't want things to fall here. All right, let's see. We want to have. I think we'll use the in color or the pearls. In color pearls or the gems. Pearls or the gems. I never use the pearls, so maybe we'll use the pearls this time. We will do a pink one. There. I think I like that. And of course, we will bling up the flowers a bit with our uh, Wink of Stella, put some uh, glitter on the flowers. Can't have flowers without glitter. So if you're not a glitter person, you don't have to put glitter on, but I've always been more of a girly girl and I love pinks, I like glitter, I like shiny things, you know, just like some of our cats, they like shiny things too, especially if it's shining from my ears, then uh, they think it's a great game to see if they can uh, play with my earrings while they're in my ears and rip them out. That doesn't go over very well. All right, here is my beautiful card. I hope you like it. Just kind of maybe you can see it a little bit better without the green um, shining through, but I love it. I hope you like it too. And just a reminder that if you share my video, you can have this card totally uh, for you to share with somebody else. 
Um, I left the inside blank with a greeting and you can do happy birthday on it. You can do uh, some other sentiment. The best moments in my life happen with you. It could be to your husband, to your special friend. It can be um, just an, even an, an encouraging encouragement card, just saying, I appreciate your friendship. So thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful uh, weekend. Let's see, it's August. Today is the 7th. We will be back together on Tuesday, um, Tuesday the 10th at 11 o'clock central standard time and we are gonna play with a stamp set called sweet peach sweet as a peach and um, that is a wonderful gorgeous stamp set so we will try to do something very special with it um, we have not made a box yet so let's make a beautiful uh, a box with it to put some uh, to be used for treats or for cards or other little uh, hold me doodads so thank you very much for joining me have a wonderful time this weekend stay safe and god bless bye bye